I guess first, obviously being from Vegas, what, what was kind of going through your mind when you saw what happened this week? Oh, I, there's really no words to explain what happened. I, I, I just woke up like any other day, um, you know, getting ready to go, go do a lift here in the facility. And I saw on my Instagram stories, all my friends saying, pray for Vegas, pray for Vegas. And slowly but surely I started piecing it all together and it's a tragedy and I really can't, there's nothing I can say about it. It's just, it's terrible. All I could do is pray. Did you have any family or friends that were at the concert or any, any connection to, to that? Or? Yeah, a ton of my high school friends were at the concert. Um, thank God none of them got injured, but I do know of a couple uh, high school students from my high school that got um, shot. Uh, two twins to be uh, specific, and I think they're featured on Good Morning America and stuff like that. And uh, I'm ha we're all happy that they're they're okay and healthy, but um, it was really tough for sure. Yeah, how different is this for you? You know, we're just kind of watching on TV and stuff, and you actually you know know some people that were were actually there at you know and had to check on make sure everybody was okay. I mean, how has that gone for you the last couple of days? Yeah, I didn't know anything about the event, so just piecing together, knowing that over 22,000 people were there last minute really made me think wow there's there's definitely a ton of people that i know that were at the event um it was just a rough day for sure uh, uh, it was kind of a hazy day uh, i had to really focus back into what i was doing here but it was definitely tough does it uh you know you talk about being, being able to be focused you know i mean you, you play a game friday and stuff so that had to have helped what's it you know, were you able to quickly kind of turn it around and, and turn the focus? Yeah, I had a really good practice, I thought, and I think the offensive line also had a really good practice. And um, just being able to, like, find that getaway and use football as my way out really helped me yesterday, that's for sure. How's the line kind of taken, you know, it's been a month now, the end of the season. How, how have you guys kind of tried to process what's happened? And you certainly had your, your negative moments. But how, you got, how are you guys trying to deal with what's going on for you guys? Yeah, so fortunately we had that bye week, and we really utilized it very well. And uh, we, we reviewed all of our games, and we really took the time to detail it out and, with Coach uh, Vidal and really worked towards fixing that. And that is, that's not our standard. And we're really looking forward to uh, to turn a new page. In terms of the speed of the game and some of that stuff, I mean, do you really have to be out there in game experience? I know you had a little game experience last year, but it, a lot of young guys this year. I mean, is it one of those things where you're just having to kind of learn on the fly and you really get a little more confident, a little more experience yeah. each game? I think it's it's very custom fit. Some guys handle it well. Some guys do like that experience. Um, it's a tough question, but uh, individually, each person, we're, we're kind of trying to meld it as a group and find that unity as an offensive line. I think we're, we're definitely striving towards that. I think you've started at three different spots in four games. So yeah. what, what's it been like for you moving around? Oh, it's been awesome. It's an awesome challenge. And I think it's good for not only me, but just, just for the team so that we can show that if someone goes down, anyone, not, not just myself, can can pick that up and continue on. You know, staying on the same side, I don't know, you know, is it tougher going over to, to when you went to left guard? You know, is that a little tougher switching sides or what was kind of the hardest move you had to make? Yeah, just the stagger was kind of kind of different. I got caught in, in my first couple of reps, like in, in the pre-practice of getting in a right-handed stance on the left side. But now it's all good. And um, just, just being able to practice that and working hard towards it, uh, it, it was kind of an easy switch. What do, you, what do you think you guys, you know, if you had to pick something, maybe maybe why there's been a bit of a struggle on the O-line, what has it been? Has it been, we talked about it, I mean, you've been having, having moved guys in and out, what, what, the consistency, what, what, is, what has been the, maybe the issue? Uh, there's a lot of people circulating throughout the offense. I mean, like you guys say, we are a young offense, but uh, just being able to find that, that way that we can all click together, I think, will be, will be the key. And um, coming off that bye week and really emphasizing all this is I think is really going to be good for us. And you guys kind of, you know, pride yourselves on physical downhill running game and I mean you had 30 yards rushing in the last game. I mean, uh, what, how frustrating, disappointing has it been that the run game really hasn't gotten clicking yet? Yeah, it's just as frustrating as it, as it is for you guys for us. I mean, we, we see the same number and we're really working towards that and uh, we're still playing physical. It's just we got to get the get the yards on the board. Do you feel like you guys, have, I mean, you have the backs, you have the group up front, you have the right scheme, and do you feel like it's it's going to come? I mean, is it one of those things where it's just taking a little bit longer? Do you feel like you guys confident you, you've identified, you know, maybe some of the issues? Yeah, yeah, we, we definitely, like like I said in the bye week, we we troubleshooted it. We're, we're really focused on uh, continuing to be physical, can, can continuing to create a mindset, and really hammering down the run game. Thoughts on BYU's defense, and also does this game carry a little bit more weight Maybe it is a rivalry game when you guys both see it as such. Yeah, I'd consider rivalry. I mean, um, we respect BYU a ton. We, we love being able to fight um, 
uh, on the field together because it's always a tough battle against them. And uh, as far as their D-line goes, they're very big guys. So it, it's going to be really fun to go against those guys and, and to, to play four quarters against them. And um, it's always a big game. It means a lot to me also because it was one of my, one of my starts, uh, first starts. Um, and I'm just really excited to play them. You know, 67,000, big, big atmosphere. I mean, it'll be, you know, twice the crowd you guys had at, at Pullman. Um, I mean, what, for, for the offense, what kind of challenges have, uh, you know, because the last two times, and you haven't been there, but the last two times the team's gone down there, they've lost. Yeah, I'm really excited for the challenge. I've, being able to, to see the stadium on, on the board when we, when we introduced them for, for the beginning of the week and seeing how big it is really excites me and really um, makes me want to accept the challenge. So, so what do they do? How do they... Uh, Introduce the team, or what do they what do they what do they put up there? Yeah, they just say like how big is it, how big the stadium is, and what, what's the temperature? Going? Yeah, what's the temperature going to be like, and just just what we're wearing and stuff, and just just seeing the field and seeing the stadium really energizes me, and try and every practice I put myself in that situation. I mean, I know their record maybe isn't great, but what kind of test is this guy is this for you guys? You know, going into that type of atmosphere in that crowd, and you mm-hmm. handled it pretty well in Pullman, obviously until the fourth quarter. I mean, how, how do you guys? Uh, you had to view this kind of type of a challenge on Friday. Yeah, I, I didn't even know what their record was because I really don't I, don't. I don't pay attention to that because I know every time BYU is coming after us and they're, they're looking to, to take it to us. So um, I really don't pay attention to the, the, the whole the whole statistics of things. But I, I know one thing, and they're coming to try to, to, to beat us. So we got to just be prepared. We're, we're really excited to, to challenge them.